for this section, we're going to be working on drug doses when it comes to drawing medication out of a vial. Uh, usually our doses are measured in milligrams, and when we measure out how much of a liquid we pull out of a vial, we measure it into an ml syringe. So we need to convert those milligrams or micrograms or whatever the dose is in into milliliters so we can pull that out. So the text on this is kind of small, so I'll read the questions to you. Number one, we have Mr. Smith. He is a 46-year-old uh, male with severe deformity to his leg after falling from a ladder. Uh, he's in definite pain, and the ER physician wants you to give 25 micrograms of fentanyl. The fentanyl in your drug box is supplied as 100 micrograms in 2 mLs. How many mLs will you administer? So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to look at my concentration, 100 micrograms in 2 mLs. That's how my drug... A vial is supplied with that medication. Now looking at this concentration, I can definitely simplify that and that'll make some of my math um, a little bit easier. So we can simplify 100 over 2. Uh, we can simplify that to 50 over 1. So the new concentration I'm going to be using is 50 micrograms to 1 ml. And we'll plug that into the equation instead to make our math a little easier. So next I'm going to write out my equation. My equation is the dose ordered over the dose on hand times the volume it's supplied as. So my dose ordered is going to be 25 micrograms because that's how much the ER physician wants me to give. The dose on hand is what dose I'm supplied with, so we've already figured that out, we simplified that. So that's going to be 50 micrograms. And our volume is the volume that the medication is supplied in, and we've reduced that to 1 ml. So now I can rewrite my equation just plugging my numbers in. So I'm left with 25 divided by 50 times 1. Anything times 1 is itself, so I don't even need to worry about that. So now I'm just going to do 25 divided by 50. 50 can go not go into 25, so that's going to be a 0. And we'll need to figure out the decimal. 50 can go to 250 times, or into 250 five times. So five times 50 equals 250, and I'm left with no remainder. So my answer for this problem is going to be 0 0.5, because I would have been left with 0 0.5 times 1, which is just 0 0.5. So to get 25 micrograms of fentanyl, I'm going to draw up 0 0.5 mLs into my syringe. For number two, my patient has a lethal heart rhythm, and I need to administer 80 milligrams of lidocaine. The lidocaine in my drug box is supplied as 100 milligrams in 5 mLs. How many mLs will I administer? So I'm going to look at that concentration first. I have 100 milligrams in 5 mLs of fluid. I can simplify this. 5 goes into 120 times. So I'm going to simplify this into 20 over 1, and that will make a lot of my math easier. So here's my equation. I'm going to write out all my values, my dose ordered. Well, I want to administer 80 milligrams of lidocaine. My dose on hand is 100 milligrams, but we've reduced that to 20. My volume was 5 mLs, but we reduced that to 1. So now I just plug my numbers in my equation, and I'm left with 80 divided by 20 times 1. You can simplify that, and we get 8 divided by 2. So we're left with 4 times 1, which is equal to 4. So for this patient to draw up 80 milligrams of lidocaine, we're going to draw up 4 mLs of fluid.
for number three, my patient is suffering from an overdose reaction. You need to um, give 0 0.4 milligrams of Narcan. Narcan is supplied in two milligrams and two mLs. How many mL will you administer? So first I'm gonna look at my supplied concentration. I have two milligrams and two mLs. I can reduce this to one milligram and one mL. Here's my equation, my dose ordered over dose on hand times volume. My dose ordered is right here. I want to administer 0 0.4 milligrams of Narcan. My dose on hand was 2 milligrams, but we've simplified that to 1. And my volume was 2 mLs, but we've simplified that to 1 mL. So now I'm going to plug these numbers into this equation. Zero point four divided by one is zero point four. Zero point four times one is zero point four. So for this dose of Narcan, I'm just going to draw up zero point four mLs. Number four, my patient is suffering from an anaphylactic reaction and I need to give twelve point five milligrams of Benadryl. The Benadryl in my drug box is supplied as 50 milligrams in one ml. How many mLs will you administer? So for this concentration, I cannot simplify that, so we're not going to do anything for that. My dose ordered is 12.5 milligrams. That's how much I want to give my patient. My dose on hand is 50 milligrams. My volume supplied is 1 ml. Now I'm going to plug those numbers into my equation. I have 12.5 divided by 50 times 1. So now I'm going to set up my division. So for this problem, I have a decimal. I want to move that decimal over to make my math easier, which means I need to add a decimal on the other side. So I'm going to do 500 into 125. As I move this decimal, I also need to add a zero here. 500 cannot go into 125. 500 can go into 1,250, and it goes in twice. That gives me 1,000. I'm left with 250 left over. That's my remainder, so I'm going to add another zero. 500 goes into 2,500 five times, and that equals 2,500. So what I'm left here is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 times 1 equals 0 0.25. So. When I'm looking at this problem, I want to draw up 12.5 milligrams of Benadryl, supplied in 50 milligrams in one ml. I'm going to draw up 0 0.25 mLs of fluid to deliver that dose. Another way that you can look at this problem is you can look at this 50 milligrams in one ml, and you can think, well, if I wanted to give half that, that would be 25 milligrams, it'd be half an ml. If I wanted to give half of that, that would be 12.5 milligrams, and half of one half ml is 0 0.25 ml. So sometimes you can kind of look at these without even having to use math. All right, number five right here. My patient is suffering from nausea, and I need to administer 8 milligrams of Zofran. The Zofran in my drug box is supplied as 5 milligrams in 10 mLs. How many ml will I administer? 
So first I'm going to write out my concentration. I have 5 milligrams and 10 mLs. I can simplify this here because they're both divisible by 5. That would be 1 milligram and 2 mLs. So my dose order, I want to give 8 milligrams of Zofran. My dose on hand was 5 milligrams, but we have simplified that to 1. My volume was 10 mLs, but we've simplified that to 2. So when I plug those numbers into my equation, I get 8 divided by 1 times 2. 8 divided by 1 is 8 times 2 is 16. So in order to administer 8 milligrams of Zofran for this patient, I need to give 16 mLs of fluid, uh, which was what I draw up into my syringe.